Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to put together a poster in Google Drawings. To get started, you're going to need to log into Google. If you haven't already, click on the sign in option in the upper right corner and type in your student number, followed by the at symbol student.ast20.org, and then type in your password. When this window loads, click on the apps in the upper right corner and choose Drive. Go ahead and double click on Classroom. Go into the Computer Design folder and open up the Plan Endangered. You will need this open in order to complete the poster. Go back to your drive, keeping that plan open, and now you're going to click on New, choose More if this doesn't pop up immediately, and choose Google Drawings. In the upper left corner where it says Untitled Drawing, click on that and name it Endangered Animals and choose OK. You're going to go to File in the upper left corner and choose Page Setup. Where it says Standard, click on that drop down arrow and choose Custom. The dimensions are 8.3 by 9.9 .9, and choose OK. Now if you want to change the color of this, go ahead and right click and choose Background and you can choose a background color if you so choose. I'm going to add a title by choosing Insert Word Art and typing in endangered animals and click anywhere on that background. I will move it to the upper left corner and start changing that text. I personally do not like outlines so I click on the outline option and choose transparent. I will change the color by choosing the paint bucket and maybe I'll choose a dark green. I'm then going to change the font where it says Arial in this location I will choose that. I will choose more fonts and choose something a little more interesting for the title. As you can see, there are quite a few font choices. After scrolling through all the possible font options, I decided to go with Special Elite. So I will select it and choose OK. And if you need to resize it, you can always drag it. And I'm going to go ahead now and insert an image. So I will go to the Insert option and choose Image. I will then choose an image to upload. Remember in the previous video, I demonstrated how to get copyright friendly images. So I will choose an image. I did put that on the desktop in the computer class folder in Images. And I will add one of the images. I'll choose Orca and then choose Open. To resize it, I'm going to drag from a corner towards the center because we're going to need room for more images and more information. Now this is where it can get really interesting. If you go to the top and scroll over this, it's the crop image. Choose the drop down arrow and choose shapes. And you can put that in an interesting shape. As you can see, it puts some rounded edges. So I'll go ahead and keep that. And I'll continue to add all the other images by choosing insert image and going to that folder. I want to demonstrate how you can crop part of an image. So I will select the penguin. I will choose the crop option and I will push this towards the penguin to get rid of the extra. I will then click off. I will now go down here to the shapes and put that in an interesting shape, maybe rounded edges, and I'll make it smaller. I'm going to make my images roughly the same size because they are all of equal importance. I will add the other two images and then I will demonstrate how to add the information. I wanted to point out that once you add it in a shape, if you see the yellow dots, you can actually make some transformations with that by playing with those as well. And it will change that shape even more if you so choose. Now that I have my images, I'm ready to add my information. This concludes the session on how to add images to your poster. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.